Have you ever heard of the good person test? Mm. Yeah, it's a great test, man. I mean, it's, it's like it changed my life. Um, but let me give it to you, okay? Um, on a scale of one to 10, what do you think you are as far as a good person? Like 10, you're perfect. You know, best person ever, zero, you're like Hitler. Where do you think you would be? Probably about six. Six, okay. Well, the Bible says- I mean, I need saving, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I need saving you know too, I mean? I'm with you. So the Bible says that um, God's given us a ruler, a measure, a mirror to look at ourselves because we're supposed to judge ourselves rightly. It's actually, you know, what God requires of us. That way we know when to repent and how to, you know, ask God for help and stuff like that, judge ourselves rightly. So we look at the Ten Commandments and all religions say the Ten Commandments, they're all good. Like you shouldn't, you know, kill, you shouldn't, you know, all this stuff, right? So let's use that as our biblical test, all right? So I'm going to give you the test. You can take it to yourself and I'll, I'll take it with you, you know. But um, have you ever told a lie? Absolutely. Me too. All right. And we call those people? Liars, yeah. Consistent. Have you ever stolen anything in your whole life? Uh, yes. Me too. Yeah. We call those people. Yeah, we, yeah, we call those people. Thieves. Thieves. Yeah. Like, how many banks do you have to rob before you're a bank robber? Just one. Just one, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, have you ever lusted after a woman? I have been guilty of that. All right. And what did Jesus say about that? Uh, it's the same as cheating in your head. Yeah. It's in your heart. Yeah. In your heart. Yeah. So. Um, Lying, stealing. Have you ever? We're already on number three. Yeah. Have you ever used God's name in vain? I have not. Ever? Like, never stubbed your toe and went, oh God. Well, or like, oh mm, God, that's yeah, a good that pizza. That's God's name. That's what he is, right? Yeah, but instead of using a cuss word, we replace it with like nobody ever tastes like tastes a pizza and go, oh Buddha, that's good pizza. No, sir. No, but we use that's actually using God's name in vain when we do that. Most Christians well, don't know that because it's not pre. Let's just say I'm guilty. Of that. Okay, I'm so right. taking the creator of the universe and instead of using a cuss word, we use his name. All right, so um, all right, so the Bible says that if you break one of the commandments, it's the same as breaking them all. Okay, no liar, no thief, no adulterer will enter the kingdom of heaven. All right, so unless we've repented and Christ has paid for our sins, through his grace, we're saved, right? All right, that's biblical. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, well, here's what happens. Here's what happens to us Christians is that we have some understanding of the gospel. We repent, all right? Now, after we've been a Christian and we're better than we used to be, we sin less, we still sin, but we sin less, we think we're better. Like we're better than those people, right? I, I well, see a lot yeah, of that, yeah, yeah. And, and there's probably a whole bunch of people you probably think you're better than, like Hitler and you know, like a bad cop that beat some pregnant woman on the side of the road. And you're like, we're better than those people, right? Oh, well, when you say it like that, I mean, you know, yeah. And your better person skill, I said six. I'm thinking yeah. you guys are like two. Yeah, yeah, or one. <laughs> so, I mean, if it's a if it's a better on the scale, then yeah, I'm guilty right. of I'm guilty so, of the. Uh, but here's, here's why we take this test, okay? Because yeah. Jesus says, none of us are good, only the Father. Okay, so when we think we're like a five or a six, we have this elevated attitude of ourselves that we're pretty good. Like, we're not as bad as we could be. Like, the whole world's better off because I'd be a lot more evil yeah. if I wasn't a Christian. But that's not Christianity. Christianity is, is that, no, we are evil. And we could be just like Hitler easily. Like, we have that nature. We're murderers at heart, you know? But through the redemption of Christ, he's lifted us up. And now when we stand before God, you know, we get to go to heaven, all right? But here's the thing. God says that he takes pride and he pushes it away. So if we have ministry and we think we're uh, like, I've had pastors tell me they're about an eight, seven or eight. And what God does is he pushes prideful people away, but he lifts up the humble, is what the Bible says, you know? So if we're right-minded who we are in Christ, we're like a zero, we are a zero. Christ is good, but he helps us, then God can really use us in our ministry work, you know? So what happens is, is we live a good Christian life, but all around us are killing babies. And God says, the Bible says, that he hates our worship. If we live in a town and a community that kills and slaughters babies, people, and we raise our hand, but we don't lift a finger to help, he says he hates our worship. You know, and it's in the Bible. You can actually read it and it talks about it because there's been times where God's people actually sacrifice. And it's the number one cause of death today in America, even among Christians. So what we're doing here is trying to exhort Christian men and women and say, look, don't just have a moral opinion, but let's fight evil. Let's oppose Satan. If we had an army coming down upon us right now, we wouldn't just say, hey, I'm against that. You wouldn't do it. You take up arms, right? You do something. Yeah, 20, good, Twenty years ago, I agree with you, but I think Americans are too fat and lazy. Now. So uh, yeah, say, true. Sucks. We're talking about you. And we're talking about me. <laughs> yeah. we, hey, we, it's good talking. Hey, to you. good talking I, to you too. I like your, I like your views. All right. God bless you guys. I asked that it's not open on Sunday.